I all just thought I'd show, do an unboxing of uh, this new model I've got, which is a Weissman 2680 multifunction DCC model. It's AC and uh, DCC as well, so it's two rail, three rail, digital couplings, LED lighting, rail com, a red and white marker lights. Uh, it's got quite a few features. It's quite a unique little thing, so. Let's get out of the box anyway and have a look. Or oh, just spin it around actually, have a look at the other side of the box. Nice uh, side elevation drawing of it there. Some other models that they do. Yeah, let's get it out of the box. Quick look. Just try to get it out as carefully as possible because I like to keep the boxes as Quietly, really tightly packed. A little bit of trouble opening the box there, so I want to stop. Anyway, I just didn't want to break it or rip the box if possible. You open the box, you get a little uh, detail pack, a flashman coupling. As soon as you open the flap, you get that, and then you get two arrows saying to obviously pull these at the same together rather and then it slides out same as uh, the Plasa model and the other models I've got and it looks like that I take off this front piece you get the instruction manual which is nice and yeah let's have a look see how this one's done carefully push it's a bit of tricky this one. It comes in two parts. A bit of a tricky one to get out. So we've got that, we've got the uh, the digital Unimog which is nicely packaged. Got a little figure in there, nicely detailed. Let's have a look at this one first. Let's get that out. Be really careful. This is, I've not seen this sort of packing before. It's actually uh, it's sellotape, so you've got to get your old uh, knife out again. Just break that seal there, and on the other side, it's probably to stop it flying out when you take it out of the packaging. There we go. So, that will pop off. That is a really nicely, it's a lot better detail than I thought it was going to be. It's a fully functioning sound model. The lights, everything, there's a digital coupling. Let's really carefully take that out. Yeah. I like the way that looks, it's good. We'll just put that aside. And then we'll, uh, that's actually dark, it's metal that as well. Get the actual main wagon. This is a, a really interesting bit of kit, this. Because this uh, wagon has... I'm going to get in this again. Strange. Oh, this one. Slightly different by the looks of it. No sellotape on this. This is a really awkward unboxing. Crikey. Not sure how to get into this one. Ah, I think you pull it either side there. Put it on a flat surface. Nope. Ah. Oh no, there's sellotape in the corners. How did I not notice that? A bit tired as well because I've done a long day today at work, so I'm not with it. What I thought, I've had this sat in the box and I thought I'm gonna have to get it out. Let me look at it. And again, this is metal. Oh, sugar. Crikey, what's happening here? Yeah, that's about that. But the actual the main chassis of the wagon, it's got the sound and the drive system underneath. This flatbed flatbed wagon. It's really smart the way it does. 
where it works, it's got a digital coupling there and a standard flash, uh, sorry, a standard NEM pocket there and the bit that just fell off is obviously the load for it which is nicely detailed actually you could do some more weathering on that or you could put any load you want on, on this but that's how it comes I cannot believe that just happened again anyway I'm going to give it a give it a rest now I think I'm going to do the next bit of filming it's probably tomorrow night when I feel a bit more with it now this particular one here these two are, are the Roco ones which got the metal wheels that run along the track they're, they can be pushed along but they're a bit hit or miss they're a bit lightweight and they don't run brilliantly if you're having them being pushed along by another loco etc or pulled which was my idea is to have the roco versions being pushed by this wagon uh, before it brought this out anyway if I has been brought this out I knew they were bringing it out I thought I might as well go for this you know it's quite expensive it's really nice it's got the outer frame work on this mobile which is yeah, an added feature for the rail network so and uh, carrying extra stuff and walkways around it so and climbing on and off platforms etc but yeah it's really good I like it yeah, on this uh, wagon, there's a, you can, you've got the option to install a flat. It comes with a flashman coupling, profi coupling at one end with an end pocket. So you can tow another wagon if you want. So best way to do it is to, to it's a really heavy wagon this. And it's a, it easily, would it very easily slip out of your hand. You've got to be careful. So best way to do it is to place it upside down on something soft. Uh, and just put, I've put a bit of WD-40 on the lugs using a WD-40 pen on the lugs and then just you got to hold the then pocket because it's a mini, it's really really delicate you can see all the springs in there you don't want to damage that so got to hold that and carefully manipulate that in then there's two wing mirrors which you got to place on the side, I'm going to do it on the side of the Unimog and then there's two steps as well which you can add on to the wagon if you want but again really delicate that's why they've not put them on I left it to the user to put them on because they are so delicate to knock off some of the wagons, some of the Roco wagons and some of the detail on them, you only got to slightly handle it in the wrong way and it just bits fly off them you just got to be so careful and uh, yeah, the older models uh, and the ones that are, you know, not the uh, highly detailed ones are alright, but some of these are ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, there's another example. I've got these, these are Trix Markling coaches and the detail level on these coaches are absolutely bonkers. I'll just show this one a minute. I mean, you've got this detail dripping off them all over the place. Just even on the underside, there's all these bars and stuff and little things that can be knocked off. Handles on the doors, you know, ladders. It's just mind blowing. And I love it, I love the detail.
GoPro, stop recording.